Hi, I'm Leah from Leah's Tribe. And this week I had a chance to talk to potential clients and my clients, I'm always texting them and I pop on the phone and I talk to them. And it comes down to in every situation that 80% is the food and 20% is the workout. So if you're looking to lose 10 pounds, I have clients who come to me who are, are, are telling me they're eating their chicken and their light yogurt and their this and their that. Just making small changes takes you to the next level. And food does that, right? 80%. You, I'm, I'm almost 49 years old. There is no way that I'm going to be able to run my, if I, you know, and weight off of me. We, we, we don't exercise at all. We exercise to keep healthy. So this week I had a chance to go to Trader Joe's and take clients with me. I had a chance to um, do a virtual uh, walkthrough through Trader Joe's for clients that I have around the country. And so I wanted to come on and show you some of the foods that I show them at Trader Joe's. Um, one store that I have nearby, thankfully, uh, it is huge in California. Um, and then I'm in New York. I, I have clients down in South Carolina. It's a half an hour away. I have um, clients around the country that have one nearby. So thankfully, it, to me, the way I see it is it's inexpensive um, ingredients. And there, you know, you could find the organic, you can find the non-GMO or the cleaner versions. So sometimes that's all we need to do. Um, so some of the things that I do get when I go to Trader Joe's is I make my own trail mix. So I get my favorite nuts that I like, cat, meow, um, that I like, and different seeds that maybe I like. This is all from Trader Joe's, right? Um, they make a three or a four berry mix. There's blueberries and um, raisins, cranberries and cherries. So that's four. And then it, I also get an extra one of just the dry blueberries. There's a little sugar on this, right? I read the ingredients. I hope that you are also. Um, but getting a trail mix that is already pre-made and all that, you're getting a lot more sugar. So I see it as a good thing. The other thing that I do put in there for myself and I was showing my clients this week is I get, um, I, I put a treat in there for myself just by putting either a sprinkle enough that just makes your trail mix extra special, something you want to go to. It's, it's nuts. So you're finding your favorite nuts, you're putting your favorite dried fruit in it, and then you're putting chocolate in it. Um, so it can't be bad. Um, so trail mix is something, and then what I do is I actually just reuse the bag. This is my, my final end of trail mix, and it's got everything in there. Mine is peanuts, pistachios, almonds, and those dried fruits, along with, as you can see, chocolate in there. All right, so other, um, you know, veggies and things that I pick up and things that I look for and I show others. Right now, I'm really kind of, I'm stuck on spaghetti squash. I hated it as a kid, um, and I would have never touched it any other time, and then it just kind of, landed in my lap and I was like, all right, let me see what I could do. And then I showed other people what you could do. And it was like, okay. So, I mean, you could go as easy as putting garlic salt on it and a little bit of some kind of, you know, good or fancier. And I mean, when I say that something a little bit lighter, or different um, oils, this is sunflower oil. I found this, I'm looking just for something to like, make my salads just a little different. So what I started to do was experiment. I use very little of this. And what I find is sunflower oil is, it roasts things even crisper than avocado oil if you use it. And then I found this, um, this is garlic 
olive oil. So there's garlic in the olive oil and it has a different taste. So putting that onto a spaghetti squash or a salad, it just makes everything different. It's organic, right? Um, this is organic. And I always look for the organic symbol there and also the non-GMO. It, it's on your food more times than you realize now, thank goodness. But you should be looking for it, in my opinion. Um, this is another one that I'll throw on my salads, a little different. I just grabbed some of these. I don't think this is a Trader Joe's item, and I'm not sure about this one. But I get it off of Amazon. I'm going to put a link um, in here that is like my food choices, my picks. Most of, some of these are on there. Um, almond oil, again, just adding this to something different. It's, it makes everything different. And then this is raspberry vinegar. The other, I guess I went on a whole seasoning, uh, coconut amino. Coconut amino, if you don't know anything about it, it's the sap of coconut trees. And it tastes very much like soy sauce. So if you're gluten-free, you should know or try uh, anything with the coconut because we've used this for a while and it's really, really good. And then what they did is I found a tangy barbecue sauce one too. Um, and so I don't believe, again, this one's from Trader Joe's, but they have one there and I didn't see it yesterday. And then again, this is not Trader Joe's, but this company, if you look at it, I've researched this company. Um, it's, it, you know, the food is real and the people have a, a mission and it's organic and non-GMO. And every time I get anything of theirs, it's, it makes everything better. So there's ways to eat. I mean, you don't need a lot of this when you're cooking, right? You don't need a lot of this. And what happens is the food mostly that the other food, there's usually so many fillers and so many sugars and so many crap in it that you feel like you need more, you need more, you need more. This stuff you don't, right? So to me, these are some of the things that are what I go to when I'm at Trader Joe's, in other stores. Um, yesterday when I was talking to one of my clients too, you get to the beauty and um, you know all the other type of stuff. And this company, Dr. Bronner's, if you're not familiar with it, check it out. I'll put a link to. Um, I've been using this for so many years because once I started to realize, wait, if the food that we're eating is full of crap and I have to be careful of it, what about all the other stuff that we're putting on our skin, putting on our hair? We all have to find that balance, right? I get my hair colored, I do whatever, you know. But for my skin every day, I don't want to chance it. So I use something that's organic and has been around. This is a company that if you read this, you can use it for every different use. It's a very interesting company, Dr. Bronner's, and I'll put that um, link there. Anyway, I wanted to also mention for myself, that morning routines have been a little bit hard to get back into my own routines easily. So I printed out my own checklist and this coming week I will be marking it off and using it. And let me explain a little bit. I can send it to you. It's free. Um, it's just a checklist based on my thoughts of this book you know, having a glass of water, because if you do, you start your metabolism, you start getting going, um, you know, writing in a journal. So you're organized so that you can have a more productive day and meditate so that you have a second to just get your through your day a little more less emotional. And you can focus on maybe eating better or your, your family or whatever. So the whole idea of taking your morning and um, using it differently because in the past I would wake up, I would dread going to work 
and I would roll out of bed and start my day and it would suck. And then I'd be rushing around and I'd try to get two kids out the door and it was like chaos. So, and I wasn't just not, I could have done that better. Um, but when I realized I could do it better, I started to try to do it better. I started to exercise in the morning a little bit more. I started to make myself try meditation and, and the benefits did help me, you know, um, and all these pieces do, but it's sometimes like everybody, right. It gets hard to like stick to the habits. I was talking to a new, a new client yesterday who was saying, I don't know what it, why I can do it for a while. And then it doesn't stick. Well, if you don't do something every day, it's not a habit, right? So if you have to intentionally make it happen every day. So that's what I'm doing, getting back to this checklist. Uh, on the back is like a journal sheet. This page is like your affirmations. It's part of uh, the morning routine. If you're interested, um, I will put the link in the post and if you comment or message me, I'll send you the link too. And I wanted to also just show you one more thing. Um, uh, it came up this week about journals and the idea of people using journals, a food journal, right? Because if you write a food journal and you just kind of keep a list like so many other um ways, right? You start to see a pattern and you change it. Um, and then I was for the morning routine, right? There's a journal piece. So 10 minutes a day, I write in my journal in the morning and I do actually do it at night. And then I found this very cool book because I wanted to start uh, doing a little more art for myself. And it's one of my goals for this coming year. I used to do a lot of art and I haven't for a long while. So I thought this book was cool because it would get you going every day to start. I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to I think this week. And then this was an amazing gift from a friend that I would say I have not been super crazy consistent with. But again, this book gives you ideas and then you draw and you write and all that. And it gets you going every single day. So to me, I just wanted to show you this because um, I did show a bunch of my clients and everybody's looking for um, journals <laughs> and trying to like, you know, kind of take it to the next level, aren't we? Um, I, that's why I take clients to Trader Joe's because I want to show them what I've learned and when they apply it, they lose weight, they feel better, they, they don't have to spend as much money on diets and, and bad food. And, you know, um, morning routine is a piece. It's not just about what you eat. It's not about just what you do with your body. It's what you do with your head and putting all the pieces together. And I think that it's, that's the wellness part, you know? So, um, there's times where we need the food more, we need the, the, the mind more and we need the body more. And when we can try to like, just keep it all strong, I think that's a good thing. So I hope that you have a great day. I hope that you grab some value from this and I'll put the links, like I said, in the post. And if you mention anything, a comment or message, what you're looking for after I've rambled on all this time, I will get back to you. I promise. So have a good day. Bye.